Whiskers frazzled or not, Rattus Rattus through. And next up, Tun Trun against Trident. From North Wales, Tun Tarrant. What work has gone into that spooky looking fiberglass shell? The motors are from 12 volt wheelchairs. It cost just £200 to build the intrinsic part. My name's Mark. I'm the team captain of Tum Trum. I've, in my team, I've got Ian and Nick. Our main weapon for Tum Trum is its forehead at the moment because we had to take the weapon off the front. Um, it's made out of fiberglass and it's developed over a period of time and didn't start off quite like this the first day. From Leeds, Trident. Two drive motors and another for the weapon make this tri drive Trident with an axe body shell of stainless steel. The chassis is a modified stair climber. At 20 miles an hour, it's the fastest in the heat. Hi, my name's Stephen, and this is Neil and Peter. He's the captain of the team, and this is Trident, our robot. It's got these stair climber wheels and an axe weapon powered by an electric motor. Robot ears, stand by. Turn, turn, magnificent. Teacher Mark, Ian and Nick, his pupils. And Trident. Three. Two, Young Stephen at the controls. And it's the slow progress of Turn, turn against the far nippier Trident. And I'd say at this stage, Trident has the more potent weaponry. Oh, what a shame! That shell is already being splintered. The face, the gargoyles, the twisted masks of terror and that's just in the robot wars pits at lunchtime it's trident spinning to come on the attack again i think one of the big problems with turn turn is a lack of mobility at the moment it can only get up to five miles an hour at best at worst it seems to be honest immobilized at this early stage they did have a big snow plow on the front they had to take it off to make the weight for this heat it seems to lack weaponry uh, uh, and just about everything else. Trident edging around. Oh, what a disappointment this is. So much work has gone. Look at the great teeth on the back. There's the mask, the horns as well. Snakes are in there, everything's in there. A robot built from hell. Oh, dear. Hardly a heavenly performance by Tun Turin. Trident nudging in again. Almost feels sympathetic, I think, to its opponent. A little bit of smoke coming from somewhere. Shunt coming in now on the attack, maybe to finish it off. The camera on the front of Shunt, of course. Oh, the axe on the back of Shunt. Nudging Tunter and almost up and over. Oh, the fiberglass is on fire as well. That just makes things worse. Now Matilda coming in with the chainsaw on the front of Tunter. There goes the axe. Here comes Matilda on the attack. Here, here. Tunter lost. A little essential bit. So, uh, on fire, step as a post, uh, and finished, Tun Turin, to be honest. Beauty, no match for Braun. Tridents are victorious. What happened? We lost all power. It just wouldn't go. <laughs> After that initial, After the initial we hit it, yeah, and then it stopped. For some reason, it stopped. We don't know why yet. It's it's the off. And then the flames off. started oh, yeah. licking <laughs> out yeah. well, from between for. the ears and the eyes of the creatures that were on the robot. <laughs> well, it was designed for that. Yeah, art, art <laughs> in the arena. That's what we like. Thank you very much for supplying that. <laughs> Are you happy? Very happy. Yeah, happy to uh, win. Just had to destroy yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Sunshine is just gorgeous. It was, <laughs> it was such a pity to destroy it. Yeah. Any damage that we should know about? Uh, the weapon seems to stop working. <laughs> yes, we did wonder if that was the case because yeah. you weren't. No, you weren't going for it with the weapon. I know that's why I was just swinging the background and hitting it with that. That's okay. what we could do. We'll go and fix it then. In the rubbish, tin tin, twin twin, chip chip, tried and through. Scarab against Victor two next up. From Potter's Bar. Yeah. Sleek design, it'll beetle around the arena at only eight miles an hour, though not quick. The jaws are hydraulic, the frame tubular steel, the 24-volt motors come from a wheelchair. Hi, my name's Martin Eaves. I'm captain of Team Scarab. This is my teammate Andy. Tell us a bit about Scarab. Um, our main weapon is these jaws, um, and between them, we've got about two and a half tons of 
pressure and hopefully we're going to bite some things and also we've designed it so if it gets flipped by a wedge it can be driven uh, the other way up. From Surrey, Victor. Wakey, wakey! The main weapon's a morning star flail, two foot in length, the body shell's made of steel, powered by two wheelchair motors, took six months to rebuild from the last series. Hi, I'm Guy, team captain, teammates Gareth and Kenneth. This is Victor, he fought in the last wars, still got scars from Matilda. It's the same frame, but with a much improved weapon at the front, which now spins around and also goes forwards and backwards. This was Victor in the last wars. Damaged by Matilda, we heard. Running the gauntlet and straight into Killerlock. Guy was at the controls. Showed good manoeuvrability and bravery. And it was a good run, you know. Robotiers, stand by. Here, Victor's newest opponent, Scarab, then. With Martin Eves there on the right and at the control, Andrew Miles. And Victor, too. Three. Once again, Two, Guy Pickett one, at the controls. He wants to become a famous six, DJ, he tells us. Now spinning the flail of Victor 2. Immediately on the attack on Scarab. It is a bit of a blur, isn't it? That Morning Star flail, two foot in length. It's powered by a motorbike starter motor with the weights on the end to cause damage. Little scene of that. Ooh, something came flying out there. I'm not too sure what it was. So, oh, it's the grill at the mesh. There, protecting the engine compartment of Victor 2. The house robots will have noticed the flail also seemed to be impaired there. At Killerlock, just zooming in to see what sort of damage he can cause in the next few minutes, I would suggest. Oh, there's his lance immediately on the attack. But Scarab seems to be in trouble here on the arena pins. Paws are working, but there's no one with their paws on the Cease. remote controls. They're out, Scarab, immobilised. Well, living up to its name, Victor. They go through. When you got disabled, and it seemed to be about when you went on the spikes. Yeah, we can't yeah. see any holes. We had a look underneath, we can't see any holes, though. So. Really? Because it, did, it no. looked like it went mad on those spikes. Yeah, yeah well, we can't see any holes in it, but... Um, I just didn't see the spikes. I just have to take the blame. You know, with those the spikes, you know, this is the point of the spikes, that you're not meant to be able to see them, but everyone really knows they're there. I know. It's like the other guy from Kilohertz saying, I forgot about the pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, just don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I know you've won, and congratulations, but do you think that's a bit too high because it's kind of looping around over the top? Well, it should have come down tilted a bit yeah, further forward before. Oh, it was designed to go yeah. down a bit yeah. further, but yeah. it didn't go down a yeah. bit further. Sorry. <laughs> oh, let's go into a war and oh, forget about the enemy. Scarab, you sure? Victor 2 through. Psycho Killer next up with Dreadnought. 